Hey, I'm Jesse. Look, science is hard. People have questions, so I'm here to try to answer them in a relatable way. Let's start with Rachel from Skybound, who has a question. Yeah, I have a question. Uh, microwaves, what are they? How do they work? And are they going to kill me? Thanks, Jesse. Rachel, that is such a great question, because like many modern day technologies, we all want to know, will it eventually kill us? Microwaves are one of those things that most of us take completely for granted, including all of the incredible scientific processes it accomplishes, even though we use it every single day, sometimes more than once. So let's take a look at how a microwave works. Okay, so it's important to note that we actually use the word microwave as a quick way of referring to a microwave oven, but nobody calls it that. Like people don't call Thor, Thor Odinson, because we inherently already know that they're talking about Odin's son and the whole name just sounds rather formal. But I make the distinction in this video because a microwave itself happens to be the key scientific process by which a microwave heats up your food and drink. That's really unnecessary graphics team. The word microwave describes a small wavelength on the electromagnetic spectrum. Small just meaning it's a shorter wavelength relative to its neighboring radio waves. And so it just does different stuff. Much like Goku and Krillin are different heights, so they have slightly different approaches to fighting. These varying wavelengths have different approaches to energy. That reference, you get it? Krillin, Goku? Krillin, Goku? Microwave, radio wave? Inside of a microwave, something called a magnetron converts electric energy from your wall outlet where you plug in to your microwave into microwave energy using magnets and a bunch of other stuff. This is not to be confused with Magneto, who by similar processes could probably heat up your Stouffer's mac and cheese. So microwaves from the magnetron are funneled into the main part or the cavity of the microwave, and these microwaves cause the food to undergo a process called dielectric heating. It's too loud. Dielectric heating basically causes molecules in food to switch back and forth so much that they bump into each other and things start to heat up. Okay, think of think of Loki like a molecule, and the microwave is Loki's conscience, and they're penetrating his mind, causing him to constantly switch sides. I'm good, I'm bad, I'm good, I'm bad, I'm good, I'm bad, and things are heating up. Hey. In reality, charged compounds and particles in food, like water molecules, for example, they have a positive end and a negative end, like ex-boyfriends, much like a magnet as well. And they are always trying to align with whatever energy field is around it. And when this field switches polarity from positive to negative, the water just kind of acts like a zombie. So it's, it's blindly following the direction of the field as it switches back and forth. In the case of a microwave though, that magnetron is putting out an electric field that switches polarity. That just means from positive to negative or negative to positive, but it's doing it 2.4 billion times a second. 2.4 billion times a second. So basically the molecules are in there just going bat shit, trying to keep up, and that causes a ton of friction, and friction causes heat. Okay, Rachel, let's get to what you really want to know though, and that is how dangerous is your microwave? I'll be honest, there's a ton of scary stuff out there on this. Exposure to radiation destroys the nutrient value of your food. It can also create carcinogenic compounds in certain foods. Microwaves were even banned in Russia from 1976 to 1987. Do you feel safe, Rachel? Okay, but Rachel, honestly, you're fine. Look, all of life is pretty dangerous, and most of this doesn't actually cause me any alarm. Because, for example, there are certain foods out there like apples that contain carcinogenic compounds even without microwaving them. Also, a lot of food loses nutrient value when heated up, no matter how you heat it up. And microwaves are a type of non-ionizing radiation, which means other than heating you up, it doesn't actually have enough energy to change your atoms from radiation that's like from an x-ray. But look, if you're worried about it, you can take a few steps back when you're cooking your food, but you're good. Hey, thank you so much for your question, Rachel, and thank you guys for watching. Uh, please comment below and write to us on Twitter because I want to know your questions. I am at Jesse Science. You can also contact us at, at Gamma Ray TV on Twitter. Till next time.